Hey, thank you for clicking on my video tonight. I really appreciate it. Welcome back to another video, another video on this channel. Guys, today we're gonna be take, guys, <clears throat> today we're gonna be taking a look at the pitch notes by EA Sports. Now you guys know I don't react to a lot of the pitch notes ever uh, because I think they're bullshit, but, this one has to do with the FIFA 21 beta. Now, I left a lot of feedback for EA Sports on the beta. A lot. Like, we're talking two 600-word essays. Yeah. A lot of feedback. And I want to see what EA has to say today. We watched this. We did this on stream. It was the secretest stream ever. All right? 26 minutes. And if you got to watch the stream, drop a comment down below because you're a legend. Um, but, yeah. We're going to be talking about it. I'm going to be showcasing what they what they have said about FIFA 21. I'm going to be giving my thoughts to you guys. Thank you guys for watching the videos, man. I appreciate all of you. Uh, you guys are awesome, man. And enjoy it. Enjoy it. We didn't get to take a look at more starter squads today. We're going to figure stuff out Figure stuff out with the uploads. Next Wednesday is the official day FIFA 21 starts. That's when we got the web app rolling. So that's going to be when it all goes down. Peace. This might be my first and my last time reacting to a pitch notes. Because you guys know how it goes with the pitch notes, bros. All right? It doesn't go too good, bro. They... Usually say some stuff, bro, and it, like, doesn't really happen. You know what I'm saying, chat? Like, th those do be the vibes. All right. Yo, chat, is there is there a chance that I could show my feedback? Hold on a sec. Uh, FIFA forums. Saturday night. Chat, I forgot what was I... What was I gonna do, bro? I was just gonna go do something. What was I gonna go do? Oh, okay. Uh, FIFA 21 beta. I'm, I'm looking at my email real quick because... I left, uh, I left feedback somewhere. I don't know where I left it. Return of, oh, did they close the forums, dude? Oh, they closed the forums. All right, well, anyways, did they take it down? I wanted to show you guys, man. I left a lot of feedback on the beta, dude. A lot, bro. All right, chat, this is always my, look. Look, look, look. I'm not gonna get political, okay? Because that's not healthy for anybody. But what I will say is, if you complain, you, the only way, guys, you are warranted to complain about something is if you gave your feedback, your vote, your say, okay? That goes with anything, all right? So, you guys, when you come in my streams and I'm bitching, all right? I make sure I document exactly, exactly what I wrote. Like, I, I wrote, man, I left these guys so much feedback, so much feedback on the forums with the beta. I left a lot of feedback, man. All right? A lot of feedback. So let's see. Let's see what these guys are going to go ahead and say. All right. All right. Look, because people say I just moaned a moan. No, 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 bro. I, I, I moan sometimes because we got the potential. So I, I, I was like, my main points about the beta, I'm assuming if they release the pitch notes about the beta, I'm going to talk about the beta. Uh, number one, the gameplay was too slow. I, I left a lot of things, bro. That's why I want to see my post. You know what, guys? I'm going to find my post and I'm going to bring it to you guys tomorrow. But let's see what these guys have to say. Gameplay. In addition to your feedback, we also use information that we get about how you play the game to understand how we can better develop. Wait, no, no, I can't read, bro. Better balance gameplay while still maintaining our vision for the game. Um, as we mentioned previously in the FIFA 21 gameplay deep dive pitch notes, we also take several steps uh, to ensure that closed beta experience is as representative of the final FIFA 21 experience as possible. One example is the granting of the high overall player items in foot to allow us to understand how gameplay will be impacted by the new foot player items. All of this allows us to capture a wide range of feedback, blah, yada, 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 yada. Okay, with that said, let's take a look at some of the areas we prioritize based on player feedback and have been able to update ahead of launch. Ahead of launch. Okay, so these are things that they've already said that they've taken care of. Situations where the opponent would sometimes immediately recover the ball after being tackled. Situations where the opponent would sometimes immediately recover the ball after being tackled. AKA sticky ball. All right, that's what this is, guys. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dumb these terms down for you guys because, look, we're not here for anything too complicated today. All right. This is sticky ball, okay? This is sticky ball, all right? Improve the tackling and dribbling mechanics to reduce cases where a successful tackle makes the ball bounce back to the dribbler, okay? We don't know the percentage here, but it looks like they're trying to reduce the cases, which is appreciated. Feedback mentioning that some players felt too slow with the ball. 
This is this was very true. Okay, this is very true. Made dribbling slightly better, especially for lower-rated dribblers. Okay, this is good. Uh, some driven crosses and ground-driven crosses were too fast. This was very true. Okay, this was very true. Some actions and animations were taking too long to happen. Yes. But this has been a thing in the last couple of years. This is an area we are continuing to monitor closely, yada, yada, yada. Players with high, without high vision or high short long passing attributes were too effective when forming, performing through passes. Low vision slash passing attributes now have a bigger impact on determining smart usage of space and overall quality of through passes. Players had difficulty defending against crosses as the attackers were too free. In, no, 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 no. Players had difficulty defending against crosses as the attackers were too free. Improve the marking in crossing situations. In some cases, defenders were not tackling runs well enough. Hmm. Situations where soft collisions were causing easy penalty kicks or fouls. Multiple improvements to wrong referee calls. Okay, wait a second. All right, wait a second, wait a second. So, in my opinion, guys, I was okay. All right, so let's be, let's be, let's be positive with our criticism. I'm not just a negative person, okay? I don't have a problem with any of these things because I agree with all these things. Here's my issue with EA, okay? EA never specifies the percentage increase or decrease, okay? This is, they're, they're alienated from a lot of other companies that change things in patches because a lot of other companies will show you graphs and percentage drop or increases with buffs and nerfs, okay? This is all just you know, something that you and I could write up at home without any statistics. That's my problem. We don't know the percentage as to which these were changed, and we never know, okay? Now, here is where I have a problem with these two, okay? Number one, okay, attacking AI is supposed to be increased this year, all right? So now that it has been increased, why are we trying to increase defensive AI marking? I don't like that, okay? And number two with this one, okay, my experience on the beta, okay, and to anybody else that played the beta in here, my experience with the beta okay, was that the referees did not exist. Did anybody else play the beta in here, okay? My experience with this version of FIFA was that refereeing was no longer a thing. The amount of times that I actually slaughterhoused somebody in the box or just in general and didn't even receive a foul was absurd. So my number one, I, I, I remember my one of my top feedbacks and one of my good friend Jackson's top feedbacks who's a very good player was that there's literally no referees, dude. There was no calls going on in my beta thing, dude. Like, the amount of fouls, the amount of shit that people were getting away with was crazy. Um, so that was a main feedback of mine. So I, I don't know. I, like, I don't understand this. I'm, I'm assuming what EA is trying to say with this one is that maybe this is AI penalties. It could be AI penalties. That's what they're trying to get at. I'm not too sure. All right, FIFA Ultimate. It was like playing no rules, to be honest. Yeah. During the closed beta, we gave foot players the opportunity to jump in and get their hands on all of new features. We love seeing you and your friends play with co-op and collaborate. Here are some of the top priorities we heard from the foot community, how we are addressing them. The new foot menu is faster in some areas, such as squad management, but slower in others, in particular, the transfer market. Yes, this is true. The menus were slower. The new foot main menu is faster in some areas. Improvements to the bidding and buy now flows in the transfer market by changing some buy button assignments. We've also made several fixes to the main menu and make it feel more responsive. Foot events are a fun way to play, but they were difficult to find in the menus. On top of that, it wasn't clear whether rewards were available and that you needed to complete event objectives in order to your team. Rebalancing on chemistry styles has been a welcome refresh to customizing your players. There's more interesting choices and more distinct trade-offs between attribute boosts. Chemistry styles are an important way to be able to customize your players to your personal style. We'll continue to... It was immediately clear... Okay, that's really all that's relevant here. Feedback mentioning that some players fell too slow with the ball. Made dribbling slightly better. One thing I would have liked to see today from EA was said that they make the game faster, which I'm not seeing. So as much as I appreciate EA's approach with his pitch notes, um, it's not a bad pitch notes. It's not a good pitch notes. It's not a bad one. It's not a good one. As an engineer, I hate subjective modifiers. I agree with you, man. We don't know what slightly means. Does slightly mean 0.01% or 3%? Um, yeah, we're going to need this game to be faster, though, guys. We're going to need it faster, bro. I'm telling you guys right now, man. It's a really slow game. It's a very, very slow game, guys. Again. Um, but anyways, that looks like the pitch notes for today, man. I wanted to go over it. Um, 
I think there's a couple interesting things there, but there's nothing too great. There's nothing too drastic. The faster the game, the less usable the players with low pace will be. It's hard to balance all this. I agree with you. I agree with you. Nick, do you think it is a slow game because we don't have the juice players? No, we, we, I mean, when we, it, it did speed up when we got the crazy players. What I will say about this, right? The slow players in this game are really slow this year. Like, you know, the, the top tier players that they gave us, it was faster, but the slow players were really slow, man. What, guys, what did EA change about the chemistry styles? What, they, they put an emphasis here on something about changing chemistry styles. What did EA, what, what is that? Does anybody have a link to that? Is it just the pictures or is it actually changing chem styles? They haven't told us yet. Oh, we don't actually know yet? What do you guys think about that, man? Like, I would I would be okay. I like, I think chemistry styles is a good purpose, but I, I, I worry they're a little too boosted. They've been too boosted for a couple too many years. I wouldn't mind if chem styles were all like plus fives and shit instead of plus tens. I feel like it would make certain cards a lot more usable or like desirable. Like you'd be more inclined to use X card because he has no shooting or passing mention. Were they perfect? Uh, no. The shooting was really inconsistent. I played like 40 games. So I feel like I played enough to know. Uh, my biggest frustration with 21 with playing the game was probably game speed because I felt like this year was just so unbearably slow for so many people. So when like I played the beta and I felt like it was about the same, if not slower, I was really frustrated. I was like, dude, has anybody played FIFA 20 like at EA? I didn't, I didn't really, I was playing narrow on the beta and I felt like it was good. But again, like nobody knows how to abuse the meta for the first two months. So nobody's really going to know what the meta is for a while. Yeah. Like 17 or 18. I, I really enjoyed the speed on those those games. Uh, no, near post wasn't OP in the beta, which they I mean they fixed that, which is good. What day next week should we start? Maybe we'll what? Wait, what day is this web app coming out? What's today? Thursday? So next Wednesday it's coming out. We'll have like a longer stream Tuesday and Monday. That's my shortest stream ever. I just wanted to react to this with you guys real quick. I'm going to watch the Bayern Sevilla game, man. All right, let's get a fucking dub. Let's get a dub. This is gonna be my shortest stream of all time, bro. Shortest ever stream, bro. You guys got the experience today. The most secret stream of them all, dude. This was like the secretest stream of the history of secret streams, dude. 26 minutes of a live stream, dude. Are you guys kidding me, bro? That's fucking sick. You guys could tell your friends one day like, damn, I was here for like three minutes, dude. So sick. Such a full-time streamer, man.